Hi there, my name is Jason Perkins. I'm an attorney who specializes in Georgia workers' compensation cases, and I want to welcome you to another episode in my Georgia workers' compensation video series. This series attempts to provide you with helpful information about an area of Georgia workers' compensation law in just a matter of minutes. Today's topic is, can I get a permanent partial disability settlement? But before we jump into that topic, be sure and be on the lookout for an upcoming video that I have in this series about can the workers' compensation insurance company stop paying you your weekly checks. Now, let's talk about permanent partial disability. Permanent partial disability benefits are one of the benefits that are available in Georgia workers' compensation cases. Now the question today is, can I get a permanent partial disability settlement? Generally, the answer to that is yes and no. Um, you can't get a settlement necessarily in any workers' compensation case just because you want to get one. Settlement of a workers' compensation case is an agreement between you and the insurance company where the insurance company agrees to pay you some benefits, generally a lump sum amount of money, and you agree to accept those benefits in exchange for giving up all or part of your workers' compensation case. And in Georgia workers' compensation, settlements have to be approved by the State Board of Workers' Compensation. Now, many people often confuse permanent partial disability benefit payments with settlement because those permanent partial disability payments often come at the end or toward the end of your workers' compensation case after you've gotten the medical treatment you received and possibly after you've returned to work. Um, but those payments are not really settlement of your case. It's just a benefit that the insurance company is required to pay you under the law when the doctor gives you a permanent partial disability rating. Sometimes they pay that benefit in a lump sum, and that can be really confusing because it does tend to look like a settlement payment. Other times, permanent partial disability benefits are paid on a weekly basis for a certain number of weeks, depending on how high the permanent partial disability rating is. Um, if you want to know more information about exactly how that's calculated, I'd encourage you to visit our Perkins Stutter Workers' Compensation YouTube channel and look at the other benefit videos about permanent partial disability benefits that are available there. And they will provide you with some more helpful information about that. Um, now, ultimately, you cannot force the insurance company to pay you a permanent partial disability benefit settlement. Um, settlement is something, again, that has to be agreed on with you and the insurance company. And even if you're looking for permanent partial disability benefits in a lump sum, that's not something that you can force the insurance company to pay. Um, sometimes they do choose to do that, but that's more of a voluntary payment on their part. I hope you found this information about permanent partial disability benefits and settlements helpful. If you have, please let me know that by giving this video a thumbs up or by liking it. Um, and again, if you want to see more videos, visit our Perkins Stutter Workers Compensation YouTube channel, and you can subscribe there to be notified of future videos as they come out. If you have some questions about Georgia workers' compensation law, I'd be happy to discuss those with you. The best way to do that is by setting up a free consultation. And there's two easy ways that you can do that. The first is by visiting our website, www.perkinslawtalk.com, and completing and submitting the consultation request form that's available there. Or you can call our office at the phone number that's on the bottom of the screen, and someone there will speak with you and get a consultation with me set up. Um, I look forward to hearing from you. I appreciate you watching today and wish you the best of luck as you recover from your injury.